Hey everyone, welcome. If you're studying music theory, then the number one place to start is the harmonic series. If you want to deepen your relationship with sound, then you have to first overcome the idea that the harmonic series is too mathematical or unapproachable, uh, because what we're really talking about is our minds here and the way that we hear. So instead of being afraid of it, let's actually embrace it and see everything that we could learn from it. After all, it is at the root of everything that we do in music. But I get it. It does involve counting, and there are some numbers, right? Being musicians, we only ever really need to count up to four anyway. All right, so maybe a little bit of math is worth it. If all goes well, then you will have gained something that you never would have otherwise. And after all, that's the whole point of the course. The purpose of today's exercise is twofold. First, it's to discover for yourself the pattern that lies at the heart of every sound. Then, once you discover that pattern, we're going to talk about those musical consequences. Those consequences are unique to music. Uh, no other art form has this pattern that we're about to discover. So, just a backstory on how I discovered this pattern. I was studying the concept of pulsation as it pertained to studying a score by Mozart. And I was wondering if it was possible to learn about pulsation from the harmonic series. Eventually, I realized the question that I was asking was, how exactly do the inner rhythms of the harmonic series materialize? I interpreted the rhythms to mean the actual frequencies of each of the tones that appear in the harmonic series. So, I began an analysis of the frequencies. I just started to graph them in a way that made sense to me. It was like a vague intuition that I had, and it led to a pretty cool discovery. Here's how you will discover what I did on that fateful night many years ago. So for this exercise, we're going to be graphing out the notes as they appear in order. Um, all the notes that appear in the harmonic series, we're going to be basically organizing them. So basically this graph is going to follow two principles. Number one, all of the octaves of the notes are going to be stacked on top of each other. And the second principle is that all octaves of the fundamental are going to be on the left and right hand side of the page. So the whole page is going to be one octave. Okay, So you will see exactly what I mean. Let's just start building this graph. Okay, So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write down the name of the first harmonic, and that is C, of course. So just write C, and you could just label that as the first harmonic. Okay. So the next harmonic, harmonic number two, is another C. And what we re remember, what we said we're going to do is we're going to write, this is going to be within one octave. So we're going to put the next C, since it is one octave away, we're going to put it here. And then the second thing that we're going to do is we're going to make sure that all octaves of the fundamental line up on the left hand side of the page. So we're basically going to take this harmonic and bring it all the way over to here. Okay, and so now what we what have we done? We basically have, we wrote down the name of the first harmonic, and this is the second harmonic, and then we stacked. And we moved this harmonic over to the left hand side of the page, and you'll see why in a minute. So now the third harmonic that we're going to graph is the G. So where does that appear? Right? So this is, as we said, one octave. And so we're going to put it uh, basically between C and C. So we're going to put it about halfway. Because, and that makes sense because the G does appear about, about halfway in between C and C. Right? So we're not going to put it on this line because uh, the second harmonic is here. So the third harmonic is going to put, uh, be placed right around here. And you can go ahead and label that the third harmonic. Okay. So the next harmonic that is on the series is another C. And that'll go here. Right? Because the octaves stack on top of each other. So, harmonic number five, where's harmonic number five going to go? Well, remember, we have to bring the octaves of the fundamental over 
to the left hand side of the page so we're going to go ahead and do that and make sure that that is done each and every octave so harmonic five is in fact the note is an e and so where are we going to put the e well we're going to put it in between c and g because that's how it appears on the staff and it just makes sense uh, intuitively so go ahead and put your e here okay and next note is harmonic number six so harmonic number six is a g and so look at that we're going to put it right underneath the g because it is an octave and we're going to stack that so as you can see the octaves they're going to start you're just going to start connecting them as they appear so let's look at overtone number seven the famous seventh overtone um, it's famous because you can actually hear it right and you can hear how out of tune it is relative to our equal temperament so go ahead and put uh, overtone seven between it's a B flat right a flat B flat right um, and that'll go in between G and C so you could put that here and then overtone eight is another C look at that okay so then of course the next step once we're here we're going to bring that all the way around oops and that's overtone eight right one octave above overtone four and uh, what I want you to do now is just continue this pattern right so the next overtone is nine so figure out where on the graph are you going to put overtone nine and you remember you want to stack all of the octaves and you want to bring the octave of the fundamental over to the left hand side of the page and so I want you to go ahead and do that all the way until overtone 32 and you'll see that this you'll see that this pattern uh, and it'll become very very clear to you So when you're done, hopefully you'll have a pattern that looks something like this. And what I started to do was basically show the actual pattern, right? So in each octave, right, in between uh, two tones in one octave, uh, a new tone emerges, right, in the next octave of the harmonic series. So, and that's true at every single level, right? So here we have G in this A, this flat A natural, right? So in, in this octave, right, those two tones are present and they're present as well in the following octave, but another tone emerges between them, right? So in each octave, the note is you'll have more and more notes in between the previous octave. And that pattern really starts with that first octave between the first and second harmonics. My sincere hope is that this exercise demystified the harmonic series for you. Be sure to check out the blog post that goes along with this video, uh, where we're gonna discuss and go in depth into the musical consequences of this pattern. If this video provided any value to you, be sure to subscribe because I'll be making a lot more of these. Leave a comment and thanks!